Right, for the last last task um, in this playlist section of this exam, um, we need to insert, embed even, the three audio files that have been provided. And we need to make sure that they don't play automatically, that they only play when once the user visiting the website or the microsite clicks the actual file. Now, it's it can catch you out here if you don't remember what the exam paper said on the previous page because it just says insert the audio it doesn't say anything about converting it here purely because it's mentioned it here um, on the previous page that all audio files should be in mp3 format which means it's there's an implication that the files that they provided may not be in mp3 formats already so we need to convert them first then we need to see how we put them in. So, um, going back down here, push this down. First things first, I'm going to put this down, cross this off, and what we need to do is we need to open a specific software. So, you need to open. In the Adobe Master Collection, you need to open it is for memory serves me well. There it is Adobe Audition CS 5.5. Now, it's relatively easy, it doesn't take that long, but we do need to do this individually. So, there's three files um, that need to be converted. Now, if I go back to my exam folder assets and go into the sound folder, which is where we put them. Um, Hopefully, if I drag this out, well, you can't see it for some reason. But if I maximize this and perhaps if I just hover over it or click it once, there you go. It tells you it's a wave sound. And I think all three of them wave sound, wave sound. So they're all uh, the incorrect format. So we do need to change them first and then save them again and then use the MP3 versions. So we're going to go here. I'm going to go to File and Open and open the first one. Doesn't really matter which one it is. So we're going to go into your exam folder, assets, sound, and find the first one. It uh, doesn't really matter which order you do it in, uh, as long as you put the correct audio files next to the correct names and record images. So click open. There it is. And then we're going to go to file, export, file. And we want to change this format here, where it says format, and currently it's on wave. We want it to be MP3. We keep everything else the same and we press OK. And it should save it in the same folder. And say yes again and give it a few minutes. And you do that for all three file formats. So we can now go to File and Open the next one. So we can see Moonshine, there's a second version now. We're going to now open uh, the second one, Our Tom Fool. Yep, open. There it is. Tom Fool, file, export, file, change it up, look at that, it's remembered the file format that I preferred from the last export, so just make sure it's actually the same, mp3, press ok, say yes, done, then again file, open, and open the last one, voodoo, press ok, open, sorry, file, export, file, mp3, press ok, and yes. Now once this is all done, you can cross this off. We don't really need it anymore. We go back to the folder, you'll see there are different versions. So we've got um, wave sounds and MP3 formats. So it's the 01 version. So you've got the 01 version there, which is also MP3, and this 01 version MP3. So we're going to go back into Dreamweaver. And we're going to, excuse me, insert, sorry, yes, insert, and we're going to go down to um, media and plugin. And this one is Moonshine. So we want this one here. Make sure it is your MP3, MP3 version. If we drag it out, you can see that number one is there. And we press OK. Now, if you click on the wrong one, the format will um, remain the previous format, which is the wave sound. The sound will work, but you'll lose a mark. Even though you put it in there, you won't get the mark. So please make sure if you've gone through the hassle of converting it, click select the right one. Press OK. 
done. Do the same thing here. Select inside this area, this app div. Insert media plugin. And this time, this one is Tomfool. So I want Tomfool 01. Press OK. Done. Click on the last one. Press Enter just so I'm underneath it. Insert media plugin. And this one is Voodoo Magic 01. There we go. Right. I'm going to save this and just show you very quickly the preview of this site. So far. Now, as you can see, it's very annoying. Um, I'm going to take the sound off here. Oh, it's not working. So we're going to have to take this off. Um, as, you, as you saw, it's playing all three and there's no control showing. So what we can do is increase the size of this. So I'm going to drag this out to the end here. Um, and then do the same with the rest here as well. I'm going to make sure that I'm happy with this. But before I do anything else, what I might do... No, let's give it a go. Let's see how that looks to go. Save. Open it in Chrome. And you can see it there. So I just need to do the same thing in all three, but I might need to increase the size a little bit more. Push this down. There we go. Um, I'm going to use this as a, as a guide for now. 33241 to click here. 332, Same thing. 332, 41. Okay, save this. And let's see how this looks now. Okay. I'm going to pause these. Now you can see now, I can see the controls. It's still not perfect, so I need to you know play around with these. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and we need to also control this. We need to change the formats of this so that it doesn't play automatically. Uh, we don't want to annoy our users, our our guests when they come over to this website. So we need to go back over here and change the um, code for this. So once you're back at Dreamweaver, we're gonna click on the actual plugin itself, which is the MP3 file itself. Um, what we're going to do is make sure that um, actually we're going to keep this on the default for now there we go and what we need is to go to uh, the parameters and we're going to add a parameter now it's going to ask us to create a site just click uh, that for now uh, and the site we're just going to call it um, in prompt 2 I want to make sure I'm spelling it correctly. Okay, and we're going to make sure it's in the same file folder as a uh, as my work. So you have to make sure it's in your exam folder as well. So, 2017 exam web pages, and we'll save it in here and save. And then we need to click this here. And what we need to do is we need to specify the file. So, click on this, and we will get the sound files. Yep, press yes. I'm going to go back into assets. 